Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we got a Galaxy S7 Active, and we're going to replace the screen on this phone. As you can see, it does have a lines running through it, so that's no good. Uh, it looks uh, basically it looks a lot like the S6 Active, but it's slightly different cosmetic changes they made and uh, a few other little changes that they had also made on the inside, uh, mainly. So we're going to go around the edges and separate the glass from the frame. We've heated it up on a hot plate to preheat it. And we're just going to use a metal tool to get in on here uh, at the bottom of the phone, and we'll get our pick in there. So one of the main changes that they made was the home button. From the six active and uh, the seven active. So this one here has a separate home button. So there's gonna be adhesive around the edges and there's also gonna be adhesive um, on the back of the display that hold it down to the frame. So the first thing we're going to want to do is cut through the edges. They didn't have quite enough of a space in there to get my pick underneath uh, or between the buttons and the screen so I just used these metal pry tools to kind of get a better gap so I can get that in between the glass and the buttons. If you get a big enough gap though it doesn't really matter. Now we're going to use a hot gun, heat gun, to actually heat up the entire display again. We want to just make sure that the uh, all the adhesive around the edges is, is we've cut through all that, and that we can also push through and and separate the adhesive on the back of the display. So you can use a pair, of, you can use some playing cards uh, to get in there. Uh, it's a little bit maybe a little easier uh, to get that further in, but we're gonna just uh, use the picks. So we're gonna shove them in pretty far on the edges. Now at the bottom, you need to be careful of the home button. There is a flex cable there. We'll point that out here in a minute. You can see right where it is. There's a little bit of adhesive that runs all the way around those buttons, so we want to make sure we cut through that as well. And then with a little bit of persuasion, we should be able to separate the screen now. We're going to use a metal tool to get a little bit of leverage, and that will help us to get it the rest of the way off. Now the battery is actually behind, uh, hidden behind the mid-frame, so it's not exposed. We'll remove our plastic caps for the buttons. And the home buttons right here has a little flex cable that runs along there. So try to keep that in mind when you're putting your, your playing card or your picks or whatever you're using, that you don't cut into that. So the battery connector is back behind this flex cable and bam, that little plastic cap over the, that just popped loose and flew into my flew into my chair. So the battery is located uh, underneath right here 
the little access door is screwed down and uh, it's kind of kind of difficult to get to because it's actually behind where the flex cable lies underneath the display so when the display is connected it's kind of hard to get to and that one popped off as well so there's a three plastic caps there and that one was the one for the home button and it just popped loose for me so we found it now we're going to take this home button off just so that we can um, get it out of our way while we clean the surface of the frame so be be careful that you don't tear that ribbon cable And then we're going to go around the edges all the way around and we're going to clean any dirt and other debris that might be in the way. We want to make sure that we remove any, um, any, anything at all that might prevent the new screen from laying down nice and flat or prevent it, the new adhesive from sticking. Now we're going to use some alcohol and a cleaning cloth. I'm going to go around the edges uh, primarily, but anywhere that you see that there may be some something dirty or whatever. So if you've got any dirt, and most of the dirt's going to come in around the edges, so we want to make sure we hit that really well with the alcohol and the cleaning cloth and get all that off of there. Now that we've cleaned it, we can put our home button back. We can put our little plastic buttons back down. So be sure that you test your screen before you put it down permanently. We've already done that in this particular case. We're going to go ahead and connect the battery now because we won't be able to get to it once we put the screen back on. Now these, uh, this cap here has um, an arrow on it that points to another arrow on the frame. There's one here and one there. So that's easy to line up. Then we'll put our last cap back over the display connector. We're going to center it over the speaker grill at the top and then we're going to make sure that the buttons are aligned properly so that the new glass will fit down all the way into the frame. When we're satisfied that everything is working properly, we'll actually use a little bit of pressure with a cleaning cloth and go around the edges and make sure everything is seated.
So we've already basically tested the screen. We know everything is good before we even put it in. Um, but we just run through a few little basic, you know, tests, some basic stuff that that one might use. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and clean off any residue that we might have on the outside of the glass. Just with a tiny bit of alcohol or a nice cleaning cloth. Dry it off and everything is good. Good to go. So hopefully this was helpful for somebody out there. And uh, if you like it, we appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.